Okay guys, Akumodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. <laughs> it was due, right? After such a, <laughs> a nasty breakout, we broke. The, okay, this was my my chart yesterday I posted on my Twitter. Okay. Um, if, <laughs> if my internet helps me, it's gonna, it would be really great. Uh, no, it's not gonna help me. So okay. So this was the the crucial area, right? That we would need to find any kind of support in order to not break and find support in the next uh, where we are now looking at, right? This area here, thirty three hundred. So this area here, we broke through it. So this structure here that I proposed now would need to be a flat but this uh, this goes against uh, plenty of different uh, soft rules I would say but um, I, I, I don't like to label it as a flat why because I have we have a new low here okay according to Robert Pratcher the book that I use about Elliott waves uh, this wouldn't be the best the best way of labeling it okay so if we have a new low here the obvious thing to do is do this especially because we have this projection here uh, let me show you guys this projection here this is my one two wait one two let me project it it's annoying someone someone is using power tools here Sorry guys, I, 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 I could scream out and say stop this shit, but it, it, it won't be polite and nice, but whatever. Okay, so here we are at the 175%, we stopped right at it. Okay, we have such a, we, we found a, a support here. Uh, uh, however, a shy one, but we broke this line here at the, I was calling a bullish divergence but now we we don't have a bullish diversion so what right and the lbv oh my goodness right we saw a, a nasty breakout okay so no bullish divergence um and we are now what i think it's uh, what i believe now we have uh, we finished wave three Believe me or not, this was inside of wave 3. So let's count it. This would be our 1. 1. This would be our 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we need to measure it to see if this is correct. Right? We need to see if this... If this because if this is the case wave one would be the longest okay we would have a long a longer wave one than wave three and five but we need to measure to see if this if, if wave one uh let's see projecting here okay it doesn't have enough obviously wave three would be shorter than wave one now we need to see if wave three is not shorter than wave five Otherwise, we can't label like this. Okay, we have something different. Okay, as you can see here, wave 5, if this is indeed wave 5, it's, <clears throat> it's shorter than wave 3, okay? Then this would be wave 4 inside of this, uh, of this wave 3. So, follow me here, guys. We have a clear ABC. A, B, and C. Okay? A clear A, B, C. Then, uh, let me put micro. Then this would be wave 4 inside of this wave, of this wave 3. Wave 5 won't, is not the, 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 it's not the same size of wave 3. So it, we are not breaking any rules here. Wave 1 is the longest. Wave 3 is not the shortest. Wave 5 is the shortest. 
at least we, we might get to this point here without invalidating this count. If we, that's the thing now, that's the beauty of Elliott waves. If we break this line here, if we break this line here, this is, this, this is gonna, this is gonna invalidate this count here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what I have for alternatively, okay? Because the, here we have this kind of a resistance now, right? Now this this line this uh, this this is a resistance, okay? So if this is the end of wave three, we 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 should we would need to see some kind of bounce, okay? Um, it's not guaranteed, but if this goes below it, we don't have a wave three here because then we would break Elliott wave guidelines. Would, wave five would be the longest, wave, wave one would be, would be the longest, and wave three would be the shortest, okay? What else could we have? What else, guys? Uh, we might make the case that wave three is here, ABC fourth wave is here, okay? And then now we are ending the last wave five here and we would end the correction now we would end at least not end the correction but we would end this wave c here and with sorry would we end wave five here and c wave and this would be a uh, ending diagonal or something uh, of of the of the something like that okay we don't know if it's uh, ending diagonal Okay, allowing me for that, let me hide it. Okay, so this is indeed a possibility, and it's not, it's not in, uh, it's actually, it's here. The data is here. A, B, C, we have the fourth wave here, 38, 20%. Okay, nice, beautiful. It's okay. This is the, the wave two. It's, it's rather uh, sharp and not, it, 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 it's just, we traced like less than 20%, I think, yeah? Yeah, we, we traced 23% here, wave three, wave two, sorry. This was, um, uh, yeah, 23, 60%. So then, um, then the wave four, it's deeper, 38, 20%. Okay, it's fine. Then we would be doing what? One, two, three, one, two, so follow me here. This would be our one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we would, of course, wave five or three, we would try to get to those levels here. Let's measure to see if this is okay. Wave one project two, wave two. This is what we have here. A lot of lines, I'm sorry. Let me start. Oh, it's beautiful because wave three, if this is the case, wave three would have stopped right at this golden pocket here for wave trees. So this might indicate that this is a one two, and honestly, this is this looks like a really a really good candidate for this movement here. How can we know for sure? We need to measure the bounce. If we have a bounce, if we don't break below this line here, this red line here, this would be 3,255. 3, if we don't continue going down and we have a bounce, we, are, we would bounce to this region here. Uh, 3,700, 3,600, okay? This would be the region. Uh, this region here. Okay, I would recommend a short here. Short region would be here, not there, because I was counting on a wave C there. Okay, that's the difference. And uh, let me take this out, this question mark, and that's what we have, okay? This would be our short region if this is the fourth wave here. 
which which by the way makes a lot of sense okay my stop loss would be this line here for a long but I, I wouldn't enter this trade here I wouldn't try to catch the the falling knife okay but nevertheless this is my stop loss for a long if you want to enter a long okay if you are comfortable with it we have this resistance here we need to break this resistance, we would have some kind of, uh, perhaps we might have some kind of uh, flat structure. This is, n and then it would go down, okay? We never know for sure. Or a simple ABC because we have a sharp. Yeah, this wave two here, we have indeed, if this is a wave two, we have a nice, oh, it, it has retraced nicely to the golden zone let's see see it has it has uh it has breached through it but then we went we, we, we it's a good candidate for a wave two isn't it because we just nailed the golden zone here 61865 and then we went down all the algo targets here done 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 and then Perhaps another I will target here a negative. Where is it? This is the no no the, this is the yes look at these guys the negative 100 percent nailed nailed this is amazing because this is the last uh algo target that I count. Uh not it's not always uh uh it's not it's not always hit, but in this case hit with precision so i would i would rec i would say that this is my primary count we have a one two perfect two a three nail it 16185 percent now we need to see this fourth wave here is is gonna confirm why if we don't if if wave three is indeed here if wave three is in has finished here then of course, we have this fourth wave here, 38, 20% here, retracement. We are going down. We need we need some kind of bounce now. Otherwise, wave three here of the highest degree. I don't know. I, I, if we get here, then it, at least the same size of the wave three. If you guys are following me, this is the previous count. Uh, then it's possible. But the way that the, 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 the price action here that I see is that we have a one, two, three, four, five going down and we are gonna kind of finish this correction here, right? Perhaps 2,900, let's see, right? But the picture is clear, okay? The picture is clear, we need a bounce, we need a bounce. We need some kind of bounce to test those resistance here. This shorter we need to test this resistance we are gonna probably uh, we are gonna shoot through it we have some uh, market we don't have a lot of market acceptance here but we we have, we have indeed here see guys so this is this is gonna this is where I'm gonna letter my my shorts okay and perhaps if we go if we break through this 50% and go above it hmm then it's the next resistance here and then uh, this is this would be my stop loss for a short okay uh 3800 okay but we don't know okay we might have we do have two possibilities wave three is here it has finished here and this is the fourth wave of this three this third wave here or we have finished wave three here. This is one, two, three, four. This is the fourth wave of the higher of the of this degree here, which is a minuet. And then we are going down to finish this fifth wave. Remember, guys, this is the daily chart. We are really low. Okay, we have we have a a, a decisive here bullish divergence because we had this point here, which was the lowest error sign in the history of Bitcoin. And now we have a lower low, but such a high, look at the, the difference. And the, uh, the OBV is the same. And this is the daily chart. So this is significant. This is telling us that somehow we need a bounce. 
Okay, we need better prices in order to have a to have a, de a have a, to have a lower low. This is not me saying. This is the data. Okay. So uh, doesn't matter if we ha we need some kind of bounce in order to 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 get to three k. I don't I don't see Bitcoin going down and getting to three k now. Like just going down and uh, finishing because uh, through the weekend I don't know and in getting to three k now and just this is gonna be really a surprise for me but I'm I'm prepared for it. Uh, I have my stop loss here for a long if I enter a long but I I won't but my short is here I'm waiting for this bounce to get a short to get those targets but if I see that Bitcoin broke this line here. I'm gonna enter a short as well. Okay, I'm gonna enter a short, definitely. I'm gonna enter a short here. I'm gonna put my stop loss like uh, in this resistance here. And then I'm gonna aim for not that low, but 3K. I'm gonna aim for this resistance here. I'm gonna do this, a 363. 10% profit it's not that bad okay I would do this if we break I would enter here if we break this line here I would enter and I would put the stop loss right at 3300 and I would enter at 3200 okay this would be my short but you need to be looking at the market to see if it's if it's gonna happen right but for for the moment, I think that this is the best count. Okay, want you because the two is a uh, really characteristic by the book two. The third wave is exactly at the 618, 175. Now we need to wait for a wave four, and then at the end of everything here, wave five. Okay, and then the five wave here, then wave C. If this is indeed what's happening, we would have some kind of diagonal here. So ABC, ABC, ABC for a third wave, three waves. Remember, ending diagonals, three, 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 composed of three waves, okay? Structures. So this is two hours, so it's not clear, but I can see three waves wouldn't have something like this uh, we would have uh one two three one two three one two three and then one two three one two three to finish this fifth wave and then we would have of course finish the the highest degree wave five as well that we have started here one two three and then we would finish this wave five here this is this is according to this count here. This is the end of this fifth wave, the end of the wave C, which is by the way this wave C here. Okay, at the at the daily chart we have the same thing. Okay, but look where we are, guys. Look where we are. I have proposed this uh, structure as well in my. This was I posted on my Twitter that I was counting on this C here. If we have this A, B, C, this is this was a A, then a B, and a C. But again, this don't assume a flat, a B going uh, below the the previous low. Don't assume this. This is wrong. Okay, don't assume a flat at the end of the trend. Okay, what what, what I'm Okay, let me explain you guys this because this is this is important when you have a, a when you have a, a a wave going down like this a, one two three four five one two three four five and then you have the you stopped here right the market stopped here at the third wave but then you have a, a correction here okay the wave four and then for some reason you, you don't know, okay? You don't know if the wave three is finished here or not. But for some reason, you have the correction here and then you have a, a, 
another leg down here. And then you, some people count it as this. A, 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 B, A, I'm oh, sorry, C. Some people expect this, okay? At the end of this correction here, okay? They, some people count it as this. They, they imagine that this is a flat, but this is wrong, guys. Okay, according to to the book, okay, uh, 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 it, it's when they called uh, inappropriate tops or inappropriate bottoms. Okay, it's when you have this, it's because you labeled it wrongly. This is the end of wave three, and now you need to expect wave four, and then you would have a wave five. Don't assume a flat at the end of such a, a correct a, a, a certain. Don't expect a flat at the end of a, a wave three or of a long wave corrective or in, corrective or impulsive, whatever. Okay, don't assume a flat. Assume that you have the bottom of the previous wave here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys uh, in the book. It's better, right? I'm gonna show you guys. I have I have. I have presented this data for you guys previously uh, to not to not count on uh, flats only count on flats when you have a, a different structure I'm gonna show you guys let me let me get the book here one sec this was falling edges one then we had this kind of pattern that was diminishing a diminishing pattern of getting lower and lower and then we went down we could as well went up went up that was that what was that that was that was what i was counting on okay that we would get the c here but this is out of the picture okay completely we won't get a c this is different this is another structure okay this beautiful book here, guys. No, I don't need them. Uh, this thing here. The right look. Incorrect counting. Correct counting. Where is it? Where is it? I'm sorry, guys. This is really important. It's a little bit. Uh, I don't know this one. Uh, okay, we have a flat here. Alternation. If you haven't. Okay, this is this is the thing. Okay, one, two, irregular tops. Okay, purported irregular tops. You see, one, two, three, four, five. You have an extension with five, and then you do what? You have a B, and you are proposing a flat here. You see, but this is not right. This is not correct according to what he is saying. Okay, what you would say is, this is the correct count. You see, you have a irregular top, a B, a B going above the the wave five, and the correct count would be to do this: to have a wave five going, finishing a like extended five. It's the same thing if you happen, if you happen to have a a, a regular top here or a irregular bottom. Okay, you would have a one. Uh, a, B, C, no, you won't have it. You would have a extended tree, and then it would start wave four. Okay, this answers this thing. Uh, this this is basically covered in the book. Okay, again, Elliott wave principle, K to market behavior. Okay, don't fall for. So this is exactly what happened here, guys. We had labeled it here. You you have this bottom, and then you put B here. Just like I said here, I was not. I, I was expecting something like this: A, B, C. But if this B is going below the previous low here, I won't count it as A, B, C. This is the end of the third wave. Okay. Or it's what we are doing here. Okay. Or this is the beginning of the next wave here. You, you, you might have both cases here. In this case here, I'm proposing that we have finished ABC here, we have finished the third wave here, and now, and now we are going down to finish this fifth wave. But that's the thing. If we go above here, if we, if we actually get to this level here, 
of price then we need to then we then we will need to disregard this uh, one two three four five we will need to disregard that we are in the fifth wave but rather that we are in the third wave here we have finished it here fourth would be here the fourth wave would be exactly what it is we would have finished the third wave here and then we would have a one two three four here correcting here the third wave here okay it's a bit different okay it's gonna be a deeper wave four because of course it's gonna be of a higher degree okay but i think that in my opinion this is a really by the book one two three wave so i am assuming that we are gonna correct get to those levels here and then we would have another leg down okay i don't know guys you can you can have an alternate count but i don't see a blue sky i see a i see more i see i see lower targets i know that i said that would that i was expecting some kind of a sideways correction here for this wave four here but what we have instead is a decisively decisively break down and get into this support here this green support so what's next i expect a bounce like this one here a bounce testing this perhaps this resistance no but a bit lower what we have here is 3700 3800 okay and then going down again okay be, pre be prepared guys okay be prepared and don't enter along now <laughs> that's what i don't try to catch to catch the knife if these things <coughs> pardon me if these things goes like berserk going up it you just get the just jump in the the boat afterwards you, you won't lose money you just won't, you you're gonna lose a little bit of profit that's what is important especially if you are using margin don't forget that okay um i'm sorry for the rather long video and thanks for watching if you have questions you can always leave those questions at the at the commentaries below and if you like my content give me a thumbs up and subscribe and follow me on social media akumalo crypto is my handle my uh, my twitter handle and if you haven't joined us in our discord group is crypto trader educational institute it's totally free and we are there to learn and to try to figure out together what's happening with the market which is by the way crazy <laughs> thank you very much guys cheers bye bye